huge welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us here again. We really appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, please hit the like, hit the subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment down. Let us know what you think about the channel. Uh, we'd love to hear from you and uh, particularly about the contents of today's video. Well, here we are in what is the height of summer 2022 in lovely rural Shropshire. Yeah, we're down here at, uh, we're very pleased actually to be allowed to come down on location today. We've taken the car out for a drive and we're checking out the very latest versions of software that we've had pushed to the Model 3 over the last four weeks. Well, you wouldn't have thought this used to be a cow shed. What a lovely barn conversion it is. In fact, we're very fortunate to be given the opportunity to come down on location today. So let's get into it. Have a look at the very latest versions of software and what you've had if you've had those pushed to your car. Let's look at 2022.20.7. Twenty twenty two point sixteen came out only about four weeks ago, and that gave us navigation energy prediction. This is really good, actually. It's improving your mileage or your estimated mileage uh, by working out the crosswinds, the local forecast, as well as the ambient temperatures of your routed plan. So, as long as you've put a plan into the navigation system, it will work out based on the winds and the temperatures, and you know the local forecast in that area exactly. Uh, the amount of energy you're going to use for that specific journey rather than just estimating it as it did before. So also the driver profile functionality improved in 2022-16. Uh, not only does it remember for each driver the steering wheel position, the mirror position, your seat position, the temperatures you like in your car, but it also now links to your media players as well. So if you've got Spotify and your other drivers like the latest pop music, well, it'll remember that for them. Whereas if you're more a heavy rock kind of guy or girl, then it'll remember that as well. So that's quite neat. Uh, given to us in 2022-16. 2022.20.7 was pushed out to my car in the last seven days. If you're in the UK, you probably picked up this update as well very, very recently. That brought us Speed Assist. Now, Speed Assist leverages your car's cameras to detect more speed limit signs than the car used to previously. Now, I've noticed it has been doing that quite accurately uh, as I've been driving along some country roads and in some urban areas. However, on the smart motorways here in the UK, it still struggles to pick up those gantry speed limit signs. So we're currently in national speed limit, 60. We've got a 30 mile an hour speed limit coming up. So let's see if the cameras in the car using the new software detect this 30 sign. Previously, it wouldn't have done it. Look at that, detected it absolutely perfectly. That's exactly what the new software update kicked out with 2022.20.7 is now achieving. Teslas are renowned for being some of the safest cars on our UK roads and indeed across the world. In fact, the Model 3 earned a five star safety rating from Euro NCAP uh, very recently. And in the latest update, we get a seatbelt enhancement function as well. Now, this enhancement builds upon the superior crash protection that Tesla have already. Based on industry standards and testing, they've worked out using the Tesla Vision and all the cameras and sensors in the car, when your car it thinks you're about to be involved in a collision, it'll tighten your seatbelt a little bit, meaning there's less lurch in the body during a crash. So also in 2022.20.7, we got a green traffic light chime function. Now, if you're wondering what this is, basically, if you're at a traffic light, a stationary, and the traffic lights change, and maybe you're busy picking your nose or changing the radio channel, whatever it is you're doing while you're sat at traffic lights waiting for them to change, having an argument with someone in the back or your other half, I don't know, uh, and you miss the changing traffic lights, it'll chime and let you know it's time to move off. Not just that, if you're sat in a queue of traffic at a traffic light system and you can't see the traffic lights, uh, the car will detect that the traffic in front of you is moving on and give you a chime also. Quite useful, uh, so you're not getting annoyed drivers behind you peeping their horn. So here we are driving along in rush hour traffic through this Shropshire village. And uh, let's see if the traffic alert system works by letting us know that the car in front has moved on. We should expect a chime. No, no chime. And we better go because we get, oh, we just got a chime, man. Did you hear that? 
Very delayed though. So if like me, you've struggled to get the green traffic light chime function to work properly, I know I've seen online a few of you have also struggled with this. There's a few things you need to check. Select the car's menu system by clicking the car in the bottom right hand corner. It brings up your menu set selections. Go to autopilot and then scroll all the way down to the very bottom. Make sure you've got green traffic light chime selected down here and traffic aware cruise control chime. You need both of those selected to enable the function to work. Finally, go to the navigation and make sure your volume's turned on. If you've got your volume off, you're not gonna hear the chime at all. So you need that on and you need the settings set in autopilot and then you should find it works. So the final thing in the update is tire configuration. This allows you to set specific tires, not just the wheels, but the tires as well. And this allows the car to work out more accurate efficiency for you and your mileage that's gonna be left depending on the distance you're traveling when you're navigating to a particular location. So by selecting whether you've got your all season tires like I have or your winter tires and the specific wheels you've got on the car can really make a difference to the car's ability to work out your efficiency. A really smart update that Tesla's given us in this very latest version. So one of the things that I've been very frustrated with, although it's really good that we've got the side indicator camera now, so the blind spot camera, so that when you're turning left or right, you get an image down here. But if you are correctly holding your steering wheel, I find it quite difficult to see this screen down here. As you'll see, my arms are actually blocking the full visibility of that camera. Well, we're hoping that in a future update, what we get is the ability to move this screen around the display to actually mean that you'll be able to far more easily spot what's in your blind camera rather than having it underneath your arm. Well, there we have it. That is the very latest update, 2022.20.7. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful uh, looking through that. Maybe you've had some issues with some of the updates. Let me know if you've experienced issues with the green traffic light system as well. I'll tell you what though, if you have enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and drop a comment below because it really does help us build the profile of the channel. Well, until next time, take care. Coming up in the next episode. What I want to talk about is the unfinished boot lid of the car. And we're not on about the boot lid itself. What we're on about is the undershelf of the back of the Tesla Model 3. And what we want to do is see if we can reduce the noise volume in the cab as a result of this installation. 